Hello everyone and good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is where you are. Today I am filming a high-end or luxury makeup tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a little bit so I thought I would just do a full face of really beautiful, luxurious, worth the price tag kind of products. And I've also got like a couple of things that I want to try for the first time as well so I'll let you guys know how they go. But first I need to get dressed and I'm really excited because today's video is sponsored by Lily Silk. So Lily Silk is a website where you can find all sorts of different high quality silk products. So pajamas, clothing, beauty accessories, pillowcases, heaps of good stuff like that. I've picked up two beautiful shirts today. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to wear, but I thought I would show them to you. First of all though, look at the fabric up close. Like it is just so stunning and literally like one of the softest fabrics I've ever felt in my entire life. The finish of it, the quality of it is unreal. I'm going to wear one of these shirts and do a makeup tutorial to go with it. So I'm thinking maybe even this beautiful orangey coppery tone that could look really pretty on the eyes as well. This is such a nice dusty pink, I'm not sure. So this is Mulberry Silk and Mulberry Silk has a lot of benefits to it. It's really beneficial to your hair and your skin. It's really gentle, it's breathable, it absorbs moisture. It's sleep promoting, it's anti-aging as well. I have been using Silk pillowcases for as long as I can remember. They are really, really gentle on your skin so when you're resting your face on it, hours and hours, you spend a huge chunk of your life sleeping. So actually using a gentle fabric like this as your pillowcase just helps to prevent too much tugging and pulling on your skin. It's just so ridiculously smooth. Also for your hair, like it doesn't snag and pull as much. I actually have some silk scrunchies from Lily Silk as well. Here are a few of them, really beautiful shades. The finish is just so pretty as well, but yeah, they're so soft and smooth that don't like pull and snag at your hair. So I really love that and they're really nice as well if you like to tie up your hair while you sleep. It doesn't pull as much. If you're using silk pillowcases as well, you'll notice you don't wake up with such frizzy hair. It just helps to keep it smoother and less damaged and less just frazzled in general. I find a big difference like if I use like a cotton pillowcase versus a silk one. So yeah they have those on their website as well and I will have a discount code in the down bar along with a little link to their website if you do want to go check it out and like read reviews and everything. The silk pillowcases are great too because you don't wake up with as many like creases on your face. I don't know if you guys are like me, I am a face sleeper like I smush my face into my pillows and once again if I use like a cotton one versus a silk one I noticed that I get heaps of lines all over my face whereas silk really helps to prevent that and minimize that which is once again better for your skin long term. Let's have a look at these shirts. I will link both of these in the down bar so you can find them easily. This top's really lovely it's just like a nice little v-neck you could wear it tucked into a skirt for a really nice look. Jeans, pants, like whatever. I feel like you could dress it up or dress it down. Well this top I would personally pair with a nice pair of pants or jeans. I think I'm gonna wear this one today. Okay I'm so sold on this color. It looks so pretty and I cannot wait to do my makeup to kind of go with this. I love these little details as well. It looks so flattering. It is ridiculously soft and comfortable as well which is exactly what you want. I almost forgot to freaking show you two because I've been wearing it. They do sleeping masks as well which is so lovely. If you're like me and you have a partner that likes to freaking sit on his phone at weird times of the day or night I should say. The light on his phone, like on his phone screen, always freaking wakes me up in like the middle of the night or at like five in the morning. So these are essential for me. And this one is so, so soft. It's so luxurious and it just, oh, it just really elevates that sleeping experience. So yeah, thank you so much Lily Silk everyone. Make sure you check the down bar for the link and discount code if you want to spoil yourself or a loved one. And trust me as well, just Google the benefits of silk for your hair and your skin. I'm going to start with primer, but for primer today I'm going to use like a glowing product. This is the Dior Universal Face and Body Glow. I already did a face mask this morning so my skin's feeling really, really soft. So this is gonna just give it more of a glow for under my foundation and I need a little bit of moisture so this is helping with that. Kind of focusing it just on my cheeks, my t-zone and forehead and everything. But it's kind of the same thing isn't it? This shirt is gonna be perfect too because I always have like business meetings, things to do with my exo beauty business, Ugaia business, we have meetings with people about building our home 
and I feel sometimes, you know, like I need something a little bit more dressy rather than just turning up in a t-shirt and jeans, so this is perfect. Next up, I bought a new foundation recently, and I can't tell if I've tried it before or not. <laughs> I don't think I have. It's called the Too Chiclet Le Tint Longwear Glow Medium Coverage All Day Hydration Foundation SPF 22 in the shade BD30. This is how it's spelled at the top. I am terrible with French. I never know how to pronounce the names or anything so there it is the packaging looks like this it looks slightly different to the other one i tried was it called all hours or something like that by ysl but i usually love ysl um foundation so i'm really excited to try this out oh my god i rolled over the sponge with my freaking chair before and it's like ripped it oh sad times I was trying to figure out if this formula is the same as that one that I used to rave about and it was similar to the um, Wet n Wild foundation. Do you remember the one? And it had like a little like spoon type contraption to apply it and I raved about it for years and then I decluttered it because they discontinued it. It smells the same. I'm like trying to figure out if it's just like an updated version of it. If anyone knows, can you let me know down below? It definitely reminds me of it at least so I'm kind of happy. Like it's a medium coverage, buildable, color is perfect. Yeah, I really like the way this foundation looks and it smells identical to the one I used to love that was discontinued. So I'm so curious, I need to research it. Anyway, looks good. I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can see the finish of my skin a little bit better. Now with this kind of a top color, I'm thinking naturally, because I'm obsessed, but bronzy makeup. I'm going to do some cream contouring first. For that, I'm going to use one of my favorite luxury contours. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Fair Medium uh, Contour Wand. I'm going to contour up on it, my cheekbones. A little bit around my face. This looks crazy when you first apply it, but it blends out so nice. I don't know if you guys saw my Charlotte Tilbury full face makeup look. I will link it down below for you if you haven't. But this would have to be like a huge favorite product by Charlotte Tilbury. I just think it's so good and it blends out so nicely and always looks quite natural. Like, look at that. Look how easy that was. It looks crazy, but yeah, it just goes and goes and blends and blends and just looks amazing. It's really easy to use and you can build it up if you want to. Actually, under my eyes, I might give her Magic Away Liquid Concealer another go. I did like this. But I hate the applicator so much. It kind of like just squirts out all over the show and it's just messy. But I'm going to swipe some of that on around my eye area and then just use my sponge to blend that out. The formula is really nice for the concealer, just not the applicator, I don't know. And then I'm going to use her magic powder to set under my eyes. Actually, to set the rest of my face, I'm also going to take this powder, but on a big fluffy brush, just to do a really nice light layer, kind of focusing more on the T-zone. And then I'm going to dust off the excess. It's been sitting there for a couple of minutes. I have to say I do quite like this powder for a loose one. I'm not usually the biggest fan of loose powders, but there's just something about it that looks really, really pretty and flawless, especially under the eyes. Like, it really does help to highlight, and I feel like I can never bake successfully. You know, I can kind of do it. And then to add even more of a glow, I'm going to use one of my favorite high-end luxury brand bronzers. So this is by Givenchy, and it's the Healthy Glow Powder, and this is in the shade 2. I'm going to use this on the top of my cheekbones to really lift the cheekbone. The color is so nice. I love like a really good warm bronzer. It's just my favorite. I'm going to add a touch over the nose. Don't need too much because of the contour, but then I'm going to intensify the temple a little bit around my jaw. I'm going to dust it over my like eyebrow kind of, like the tail of my eyebrow and eyelid. I just think it looks really pretty. Even if you're putting on eyeshadow afterwards, it just, I don't know, it gives you a good place to start. I'm just going to set all of those powders using this glow recipe, Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. And then for blush, I think this one is discontinued, but I'm just really feeling this color scheme. This is technically a bronzer. It's called Terre Saharian Bronzing Powder by YSL. Once again, let's just show you how that's spelled because I am terrible, but there it is. It's actually got SPF in it, which is kind of cool. And I'm just going to focus more on the peachy color and then just tap that once again on top of the bronzer on the top of my cheekbones. I'm really loving this technique lately to kind of lift the face using everything higher up, you know? Especially if you're like me and you have 
a little bit more of like a rounded face just adds a bit more shape and a bit more lift I'm going to go ahead and highlight straight away because this color is going to look amazing with my shirt this is the Dior Skin Nude Illuminizer in the shade 3 it is a beautiful beautiful gold I love these highlighters so much I love the packaging I love the formula I love the colors I think I have three different colors but look it just like gives you glass skin it's unreal just buffing that out I'm gonna add a little bit to the tip of my nose just between the brows a little bit just above the start of my eyebrow like right on that highest point of my forehead and the chin I want to keep it bow bit too okay my skin looks incredible I'm really happy with how it's coming together for the brows I'm obsessed with this this is the legendary brows in the shade supermodel and it is the most amazing little brow gel on the tiniest little brush which just makes it so so easy to get every single hair now I've already got a little bit of brow soap in so I'm just kind of dusting over top with this product see the difference just to give a bit more color and definition right now there's a bit of powder in them and they look a little bit gray so oh my god i'm just obsessed with this product so much like this is definitely a favorite product i really need to do more favorites videos i'm actually planning one of my next videos to be one of those ones where it's like um 2016 makeup on one side versus 2021 on the other side or like you know insert random year here i really want to do that because i feel like my makeup style has changed so much since you know my early 20s i literally have the most perfect eyeshadow for this shirt this is a mark jacobs C Quinn's glam glitter eyeshadow in the shade Copperazzi. i don't think i've ever 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 used this before oh my goodness it's a pressed pigment look at that is it not perfect so let's put some of this on but first i'm just going to add a little bit of i'll just use this because it's right here once again from my charlotte tilbury video it is the instant eye palette i'm just going to add a bit of this shade right here through the crease first these eyeshadows are unreal i'm just swinging this out a little bit and putting it a little bit underneath the eye feel like this is going to make the green in my hazel eyes pop out so I'm going to go quite thick all the way across and then we'll highlight soon so it won't look so crazy so going in with the sequins eyeshadow oh my gosh I'm just swiping this on with a little eyeshadow brush it's like a friggin disco ball on your eye I'm going all the way to the outer corner I'm not using like an outer corner dark matte color I'm applying this shimmery color all across so it's just going to make my eyes look quite big really blending it into the crease color that is amazing I used to always wear colors like this back in the day in like 2014 I feel like it was the color of the year bring it back please bring it back <laughs> and then on a pencil brush I'm going to take this color right here this is going to be our brow bone and an corner color I love this color because it's not too light like it just looks perfect I don't think I'm going to do eyeliner. I really like the way it looks just like this. But I might do some lashes. Because I haven't worn lashes in a couple of videos. I feel like there's not really luxury lashes. So I'm just going to go for one of my most expensive pairs I own. I feel like these will look amazing. These are called Fashion False Lashes. They're vegan. And they are by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And for my mascara um, under the lashes. I'm going to use this Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I really like this one. On the top and bottom, it just makes my lashes so black and it's nice and quick to apply, which I really like about it. I have to be careful because my eyelashes are getting so long, like it goes everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just so obsessed with that highlighter. Oh God, my stomach just made the loudest rumble. I hope you couldn't hear it. Like, look, this is my first coat. I just feel like it looks so pretty. I can't remember if I loved this one at first, but you know sometimes when you've had them in your collection for a little while and they start to dry out a little bit and they kind of like, they just work amazing after they're a little bit more dried out. I've just been loving this one lately is all I'm trying to say. Is it worth the money? I don't know. I don't know. You can get cheap ones for good too. So I'm going to pop on at these falsies and I will be right back and we can finish off our lips. Alright, the lashes are still drying, but here's how they look. Huge. They're way huger than I thought they were going to be, but I love them. Right, so I asked on my Instagram story what color lip I should do. Um, and the amount of people that said orangey or red, uh, there's a lot. Look, someone asked, where is this blast from? Now you know. 
See what I mean? It just looks so pretty. It looks so pretty in photos too. Warm brown, red, red, dark nude, red, brown, 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 quite a few browns too. Orange, brown, terracotta, red, red, red. I feel like red and brown are kind of even. So let me just pop into my collection and we'll have a look and see what we've got. You guys, I found so many beautiful colors. So I'm gonna have to share some of them with you. First one, we have the Rouge Pure Couture by YSL in the shade 65. This is a bright red. Next up we have a Chanel lipstick which is a little bit more berry tone. See that? Beautiful Chanel lip packaging. And this is in the shade 38. Rouge Allure Velvet. Packaging so cool you like click it out at the bottom. And then Charlotte Tilbury for the freaking win once again. Charlotte Tilbury has to be one of my favorite favorite luxury slash high high-end brands this is walk of shame which is like a berry tone like a chocolatey berry tone then we also have pillow talk medium which is a similar kind of berry tone except way more brown see that it's not really berry it's more like pinky brown and then we also have pillow talk three intense which is like a darker one i feel like one of these is going to be a winner. Like I just feel like the variation between the copper and the copper and the bronze and then a little bit of pinkiness but still quite brown through the lip. Maybe we go straight in with the darkest one because I never do dark lips, dark brown lips and I always mean to because they look so bomb you guys. They look amazing and I even love the way they look on me. I just, I don't know, I'm always just quick nude you know even in my videos I'm like eh, nude whatever I really need to experiment some more with all of these cool colors that I do own um so I may have to do some kind of series where I do all different lip colors do an eye makeup look with a different lip color and just start at like nude and then go all the way up to dark brown and do colors and do reds and pinks and purples and oranges and just like do a whole lot of different looks just to keep stuff interesting so I've got so many lipsticks and I don't even use half of them Let's be real, I always just use my So Beauty ones every day. So, once again, we're using Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense 3. Now, I need a lip pencil. I don't know if I have a luxury lip pencil in like a dark enough color. I'm pretty sure the most luxury we're gonna get is MAC. I just wanna use a lip pencil to get the shape right before we go in with such a dark color. I should have sharpened this. Is that shape okay? Oh my god, my stomach is so loud. Eek. Okay, I'm so excited for this. Already, I'm loving the vibe. This is probably a little bit darker than the lip pencil, but let's see. It's not as dark as I thought, and it's a creamy one. It actually goes with the lip pencil almost perfectly. Not as dark as I was expecting, but you know what? I think it looks beautiful. I feel like the color is just perfect. Nailed it. I feel like I probably liked the makeup look better without lashes. What is happening to me right now? I'm gonna take out my hair clips. And this is the finished look. I think this makeup look and hair and outfit is extremely like office appropriate or just when you want to look polished and put together. Even on a night out, like it's really cute. I'll probably just wear like the other top. Yeah, it's just really fresh. Makes me look nice and wide awake. I love the glowing skin. I love the lip color. Um, I love, 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 love the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow is probably like my highlight today. Um, the color is just unreal. I'm really happy with how it all came out. So yeah, once again, thank you so much, Lily Silk, for sponsoring today's video. Guys, check out the down bar. Check out the discount code if you want to pick up some for yourself. Everything else will also be listed in the down bar if you want to go shopping, pick up some new makeup. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!